So we're here at Super Potato number two. The biggest notable difference from this shop to the last one is this one specifically carries no modern games. This one is 100% retro, a lot more games and rare uh, unique items, expensive things that you'll find behind uh, glass cases that are fun to browse and look at. But again, just for browsing uh, is just, just so much fun. Super Potato has some of the rarest games you'll ever find. One weird thing about this shop also is they actually have uh, a video game themed old school Japanese candy store right in the front of the shop. So if you're looking maybe to get some souvenirs for friends, especially that are video game related, this isn't a bad place to look. Pretty awesome stuff. Super Potato. Get to your wonder soft world. <laughs> It's also worth mentioning this shop actually has a really good selection of plushies. Check this out. Um, mostly Nintendo stuff, but they do have a wide range of stuff as well. I kind of like the, this is the the Mario Maker plushie. That's kind of cool. Shout outs to Mario Maker 2 on the Switch. That's pretty cool. The hunt continues, but man, this is, it's, it's almost too much to look at, this store. It's, it's one of my favorite places just to go into and just walk around and just go up and down the aisles and it's just, you can sit in here for hours just finding new games and then Googling those games when you get home and figuring out more about them. It's, there's a lot to learn. So it's good to have people like Ant to kind of like help just give you a little bit of uh, insight and some fun facts about what, you know, just games. It's, it's, there's a lot more to it than you'd think. It's overwhelming. It's, it's awesome. Oh, hey. <laughs> so this is Spyro. And if you look at it, it looks like Ripto. It looks like the word Ripto. So the developers got the name of the boss from the hiragana. The yeah, because in here. Japanese it actually does say supairo, yeah. spyro, but it looks in like it looks like the English. If you read word it as Ripto. English, yeah, it looks like Ripto. So that's the name of the boss. I forgot. Yeah, about this, that. I think it's the second game, Ripto's Rage. Ripto's Rage. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I never. That's see, that's why we have. Little fun fact. Ooh, PS One. Damn. This is a pretty good horror game right here, Clock Tower. That's like one of the first like good uh, horror games in my opinion. What are your, some of your favorite, like, Super Famicom games? Uh, well, Earthbound is my favorite game of all time. Um, what's another? There's one called Umihara Kawase I really like. It's like a grappling game. Um, what else? Uh, Gundam Endless Duel is an amazing fighter on the Super Nintendo. I really love uh, Goof Troop. That's like one of my favorite co-op games. Um, Hockey and Rocky, I actually just picked up a copy um, for this in Tokyo. Yeah, Hockey and Rocky is good. Yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite co-op games in the system. So this game right here called Holy Diver, um, one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. It is really, really hard. Uh, what type of game is it? So it's kind of like a Castlevania clone. Um, so you don't need to know Japanese to play it. It's a really good game. It's just very hard. Uh, and then Summer Carnival 92 Rekka. Really good shooter on the system, but $400, <laughs> kind of a lot. Oh, look at this. This is that game I was talking about, uh, Bio Miracle. 250. I might pull the trigger on that. So I see a lot of game soundtracks here, and those are actually still pretty popular. Um, as you can see, like there's F-Zero X for six, almost $600. But yeah, CDs are definitely still a thing in Japan as opposed to America where most people don't really buy CDs anymore. A wall of Nintendo consoles. And you can see how yellow they can become <laughs> over time. Compare this to like a lighter one right here. These are actually not ideal. I prefer these ones right here, um, which is the top loader. And the reason, the main reason is because the controllers are actually attached right here and they don't go very far. You can see that the controller is like, you can't go far away from your console. Um, but it's built more for Japanese households because it's smaller. Then they came out with, once they made the disc system, they came out with this called the Twin. And this plays Famicom games and the disc system games here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's like a two-in-one. These are pretty cool. There's one version that comes in red that I really like. I always loved the box art of these. So nice. It like still holds up today. And just styrofoam in the back. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. I did see a Metal Gear game right here. Right here. Yep, Ghost there, Babel. There, there, there.
this is like what I was trying to try to get today was Ghostbusters 2, but we're going to two more stores. Let's go there, and if they don't have any box versions, I'll come back and like buy one of these. No, because I do want it. Even out of the box, it's okay. But uh, I want to try to get it in the box still, so I'm, I'm looking. I can't look at this for like more than 10 seconds without getting yeah, dizzy. I don't, I don't know if I'll personally ever get a Virtual Boy. But this in particular I would want the stand, is yeah. so cool. Yeah. Thor, look, $50 for Teller Boxer, Galactic Pinball, Mario Tennis, Mario Classic Warrior Warrior most of you guys know this, but this is actually a great game. The only problem is it was released on the worst system Nintendo ever released, the Virtual Boy. This thing's gonna make, it makes you sick. So I'll, I'll do one round of, what game is this? Teller Boxer, this one right here. I'll do one round and let's, uh, let's actually give an honest review here. Let's see. Playing virtual games. Playing to win. Got to give it your own. Cause you're gonna feel sick. Oh, God. Oh. I mean, I'm not gonna throw up, but... Like, I see exactly what they're saying when it's like, it's definitely nauseating. It makes me want to throw up. It's no fun. Virtual it, boy. Uh, but if you want to, if you want to pick up some games, check this out down here. Wow. Wait, where are we going? Wait, it's right over that? here. Right over here. Oh, uh, right behind you. Right here. See the TV right there? The Sharp SF1? This one right here? Yeah. Wow. So, actually, this is uh, a Super Famicom built-in. Oh, yeah, 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 super family ports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cartridges go on the top there, you see that slot? You know, magazine shoots, right. like photo shoots of like a game, they would actually use those TVs, because it, it produces like better quality than an average consumer I'm, set. Dude, so it's like really high quality. This? How much really is it? Nice. Uh, two and a half grand? Yeah, yeah. Wait, is that two and a half grand? Is that 248? That's not that bad, dude. If that's 248, like, you should buy that. Yeah, I would totally buy that and like ship it home. I feel like 248 is like too cheap for this. The question is how, how much does it cost to ship? I don't know if this would be a favor to you at all. If you wanted to buy it and just store it at my house. If I can do that. It out, yeah, yeah, I, I would no do that. that. I would fine. do that. How would we get it from here to your house though? Carry it. Yeah? It I'll probably spend more on the shipping probably. then. Yeah. But... But like I would still pay $500 for that, you well, know? Yeah. yeah. Should we ask? Yeah, we should. All right, we'll go ask. あの、ごめんなさい、ちょっと。あ、そうか、ちょっと待ってます。あ、そこのテレビあれって、ジャンクではないですかね。もちろん、はい。どうせ確認はして。そう、なんか使いますなんか買ったら。彼が買いたらし
We could have that on TV. I know, right? That Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> For the Fami? Yeah. It's so expensive on the Famicom. It's huh? a good game. So I've been hunting all day for this one. We keep finding on the Famicom. Wait, I still think if we can find a Game Boy version. So far we found what? It was like 17 bucks loose for a Game Boy. Yeah. Have you been to the Game Boy section here yet? Not yet. We we should go. All right, let's go check. Let's go check it out. Let's see what we have here. Um, a lot of Game Boy Color, Donkey Kong. There's, there's two, there's three. One for each of us. Hey, who wants a Ghostbuster, huh? Here you go. I'll take a Ghostbuster. Yes! <laughs> we did it, boys. We're playing Ghostbusters tonight. I can't wait. In the box, 35 bucks. I'm feeling real strong. That's a good friend. Ghostbusters, baby, let's go. I'm so excited. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> huh? Suit of Gaia. Suit of Gaia. <laughs> What a great day this turned out to be. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. So I've got something at every store so far today. I think definitely if you want to get boxed things, it's better to come here if you're looking for something in particular, right? All right, what do you got, Eric? I've heard a lot of the good things about DuckTales. Um, you might get mad at me for never playing it. I didn't grow up playing DuckTales. I, I watched the show. This one has a lot of sun damage. I Duck love DuckTales. Is it good? Yes. Dude, it's... <laughs> <laughs> DuckTales is the best. Eric, I think I found something else. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> well, first of all, these two right here are the special editions of really good shoot 'em up games. This is a collection of all the Darius games. Oh, wow. This is a game that came out in like 1998, and they finally ported it to Switch. It's an amazing shooter. Um, but the thing I'm looking at right now is the Rockman 5 in 1 special edition, which is down here. <laughs> okay, so it comes with. Rockman Classics Collection 1 and 2, Rockman X Anniversary Collection. So all the collections. Rockman and Rockman 11. So it has every single Mega Man pretty much. Besides like the, you know, the spin-offs. Right. Every main series game, yeah. Of the X and regular series. This has got to be a Japan only, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So. Congratulations, are you picking that up? Dude? Yeah, I think I might. That's amazing. Dennis just picked something up. This is, uh, you were looking for this one, right? Yeah, Mike Tyson's punch out. For the soup or for the regu the original Famicom. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's Congrats. hard to find now because they took Mike Tyson off the game. Now it's just punch out in the US. Oh, so it's that's pretty hard to find. Yeah, yeah. Well, congrats. Yeah, thanks, man. Good find. <laughs> Wow, okay. We are now at store number four. This is our final destination today. This is the Retro TV Game Revival. Um, I gotta say, I like how they wrote Retro. I think that's just, it's just kind of a neat little funny thing. Um, this is the last one we're gonna be looking at today. Um, I haven't, maybe Ant, you know more about this store than I do. It's been a couple years since I've been here. Yeah. Is there anything to know before we go Yeah, in so this one has like a ton of soundtracks, game soundtracks, okay, I noticed. Cool. So yeah. Which are pretty like expensive. Yeah, so in the back there's a whole section for it. And then upstairs there's like, some consoles that you've probably never seen before okay. that are upstairs. So it's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. All right, last one. So far so good. Uh, let's finish off strong and uh, then we're going to get some dinner and maybe even get some drinks. Hey. All right, the games continue. Let's go. You start to see now the differences between just going from store to store. Sometimes it's good to check them all out first and then make a decision. I must have forgot. I thought it was only this and the top floor. Oh, this yeah. This too. I forgot yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, this is great. Uh, one of my favorite things about this place is they do hand-drawn labels for loose games. So you see like Tetris and <laughs> Kirby. See, like I said, this is all just soundtrack. Is that game vinyl up there? It sure is. I gotta say, it's the first time I've seen video game vinyl. Oh, I've been looking for this for so long. Pokemon Snap. Yes. Dude, look at that condition. Beautiful color. 
It's a lot smaller than like other ones. It kind of hangs. I'll actually maybe even hang it in my room. That's kind of cool. This I think will be my last purchase today. I'm gonna do it. Wow. Hell yeah, that is awesome. I'm actually excited for that. Well, I found everything I need down here. Um, I think I'm done, but there is some Dreamcast upstairs, so let's go check it out. Eric, right, we should play this. Super drinker. We're about to play tonight in real life. <laughs> All right, we got it. This is on my, uh, yeah, so this is on my list from the beginning. Um, it's called Mushy Mushy Pork and Pink Sweets. It's actually a collection of two shoot 'em up games. So you can see in the back. So I think this one's pretty rare because um, it's a lot of games that come out here that are shoot 'em ups. You can get on like the online store from Microsoft. This plays on an American 360, but there's no digital version or American physical version for it. So definitely a good one to pick up. I got a lot today, um, and it was all for just around 100 bucks. Now I think it's time we go get you that TV Let's and go get some it. dinner. Let's, Let's head out of here, man. Woo. Here it is. Don't drop it. Whoa. <laughs> It's time to get some dinner. Uh, tonight's meal is an Osaka dish. Takoyaki. It's really narrow. Like really narrow. Really cool, you can see it's kind of a cool vibe of a bar. Sort of a grungy vibe that I really like. Good music, good people. Um, the workers are always the same, really kind. And they actually have many, many different restaurants located all throughout here in Osaka, but I recommend this one, since you're in Amimura. Um, if you ever pop in, you're very likely to see me sitting right here. So uh, come on down, it's a good time. Um, Is it English friendly? English. Thank you. So what's that, chumon wa ka? <laughs> they, they are deceivingly hot. You may think, oh, like, you know, you can man up and just eat them. I, I promise you, pop them open uh, before. Because the first time I had takoyaki, I melted my whole mouth. I don't recommend it. You can bite a little bit of the skin off, too. Yeah, you can, you can kind of nibble, but I wouldn't shove the whole thing in your mouth. Be careful. These things are hot. Just pop them. Wait a couple minutes, have your beer, and then go in. Trust me, you'll be thank you'll, you'll thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> they made a mistake and they said it's free. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. We'll eat this. <laughs> Only in Osaka, baby. Alright, let's divvy this up. Look at that. Boys, I'm not one for speeches. <laughs> to the best of times, to the worst of times, to the games. Cheers. Uh, come by, boys. Cheers. Good day. Oh, that was fantastic. Um, follow me this way. We're gonna head to the next bar. Space Station. Let's head inside. This place is really cool. I'm excited to show you. Let's go up inside. Check this out. Space Station, we like to serve this particular drink as a shot. Uh, for those who don't know, it's shiso liqueur, and shiso is a leaf that's used in Japanese, some Japanese cuisine, like some sushi, just a green leaf. And it's just a delicious, unique flavor. I can smell from here, it's got right. Yeah, it's the, yeah, oh, it's nice. It's, it's, it's really powerful taste. Here you go, guys. Take one down, pass it around. Guys, it's been a long day of game hunting. Thank you all so much. Matt, thank you for having us in the yeah. bar. Thank you. Come by. Come by. Delicious. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Nice.
And with that, we successfully conclude a full day of retro game hunting here in Osaka. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again, Ant. Hey, out. thanks, man. Dude, had a blast. We we got some we, amazing we, we, pickups we today. We so good today. Probably never... the best pickup day of my entire life, honestly. Can't what a perfect it. day! I couldn't ask for anything else. Dude, awesome. awesome. We got a lot of great stuff today. We hope you guys benefited or enjoyed at least the video today. And again, thank you. We we love to show you a little bit of our piece of Japan, uh, even if you don't get to visit. Um, we hope you took something from this and. If anything, have a great night. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.